Oh, the strangest thing a fan has ever sent you. I always think the um, the pictures you get of yourself are weird. Like, they just draw you and give it to you. I've never understood that. It's very sweet, but I don't know where people think you keep that. Just all the drawings of you. So that's, that's, that's sometimes strange. If I ever had a, had a fight, I had a late night the other night with a couple of mates where there ended up being boxing gloves around. And um, it was about it was about six in the morning, but um, the rules ended up being it was a fair fight, but if you could sing a chorus to a dove song, then you got um, you were free from being punched for half an hour. <laughs> um, and my mate Joel doesn't know any doves, so he woke up in the morning with bruises on his arms. But luckily, I've got a good knowledge of, especially the Doves' first record. So, um, pretty successful night for me. Was that your rule? It was my rule, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Favourite single recorded by a footballer or a football team? Weirdly, I bought um, Pass and Move, it's the Liverpool Groove, by the, uh, by the Spice Boys. And I think it was on the merit of the tune because I didn't have it, I didn't care about the team. And I think they might have got beat by Man United, I think Cantona, because I remember Rob Jones like trying to get it off the line. Uh, yeah, so that's probably the best football song ever recorded. Would you swap headlining Glastonbury for uh, scoring the winning goal at the cup final? No, to be honest. I know a lot of people say they'd rather, you know, musicians say they'd want to be footballers and footballers musicians, but I think being in a band is the best job in the world. And um, if you're a footballer, you have to eat well and sleep well and um, aren't allowed to speak your mind very often. And so I think that's not a very good sacrifice to win scoring a goal in any cup final, personally. If you could play live at one football stadium in the world, which one would it be? Uh, Craven Cottage. And I have done for um, Fulham All Stars, which didn't necessarily go exactly how I would, would have dreamt it. My first touch, I tried to set Andre Stolcher's former Latvian international fruit with an up and under chip, which was a very um, strange decision, but when you're under pressure, you make strange decisions. Best gig I've ever been to, either Neil Young at Hammersmith Apollo, um, is probably the best gig I've ever been to, but in terms of importance, uh, Interpol at Brixton Academy, because all we all went there and we were like 15 at the time and it was really like, it, it was a genuine moment when we decided it was an achievable goal to, to do it and it's, it's good to have like heroes that are almost your age or reachable I think and Interpol were that to us. One song you wish you'd written? Well there's loads but um, Sound and Vision by Bowie just because it is, just sounds like it was done so easily and freely and just never ever gets old and I love how loud the um, shaker is such a weird fact but I'd love to be brave enough to make a shaker be that loud mm -hmm.